DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a warm up routine. So, for this routine, we're going to be going through 14 movements, and we're going to do those for 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We are not going to repeat any of them, we're just going to go from one to the next, so there will be no extended breaks. We're going to start this off by kind of uh, stretching out the muscles and getting some other ones activated. Then we're going to follow that into uh, a little bit of cardio base to ramp up the heart rate and then finish it off with one of my favorite movements, which is a deep squat hold. We're going to hold it for five seconds and then repeat for a total of 30 seconds. So if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't seen it already, uh, go check out our free seven day resistance band and or dumbbell programs we have available. We have two there, they're not the same, it's either resistance band or dumbbell, as well as our 12 week paid programs we have available if you're looking to lose weight and get stronger. So without further ado, let's get to work. So we have about 15 seconds before we get started. Our first movement is gonna be shoulder and chest opener. So this is pretty much what you're gonna do like before in between sets, kind of keep the chest and arms uh, loose. So we're just gonna kind of rotate the shoulders around. Here we go, so we'll start off with some little arm circles. Keep going a little bit bigger. Here we go, and then from there what we can do is reverse it for a second, and then we'll go into an external shoulder rotation bring it down into an internal shoulder rotation. So what I'm doing here is for internal is pushing back. You'll feel it in the front. And then after that, kind of just take the arms, pull them back, help spread that chest open. There we go. Okay, next we're gonna do uh, static lunges. So I'm gonna put this time my front uh, left leg forward and then from here I'm gonna go into a lunge, squat down, lean forward. And then we'll come back up. So here we go, we're gonna lunge, we're gonna drop into it, push forward, push the hips forward, and then come back up and then repeat. So every time you come down, you're wanting to push forward, stretch out the hip flexors. If you want, you can even take the hands up, lean over, come back straight, and then come up. So we're trying to warm that leg up, as well as stretch the hip flexors right here. Get a little blood flowing in the legs. If you want, you can have your legs a little closer, come down. There we go. Okay, next one we're just going to do the right side. So I'll do it just facing us. So you can see nice wide split stance here. There we go. There we go. So come down in our lunge and then lean forward, sink the hips down, and then come back up out of that lunge and then repeat. So as we come down, we're going to come straight down and then sink our hips forward towards that front foot and then come back up. There we go. And if you want, you can kind of lean, stretch out that iliopsoas in there. Do one more. There we go. Okay, so for our next exercise, we're gonna do a hip abductor. So we're gonna try to get those glute meds activated. So we're just gonna stand on one foot. I'm gonna stand on my right foot and from here, I'm just gonna go out to the side with my left. Here we go. Out to the side. Good control movement. You'll feel it in the top rear of your butt and the glute. It's your glute med. Trying to get it activated. A lot of people have weak glute meds. Causes some knee issues. Just go out there. Try to really squeeze it. Don't open the hips, try to keep your hips facing forward when you're doing this. There we go. All right, we're just switching sides now. So we're gonna stand on the left side and then bring it out to the right. Nice and easy, just getting warmed up. Get the glute meds activated here. Here we go. So hip abductor to the right. You can really feel it. Put your hand back there on that muscle. When you get out there, you'll feel it. Tighten up big time. There we go. And good control moves. Don't open the hips up to turn. You're keeping the hips closed, nice and straight. The legs shouldn't open up. There we go. Okay, 
Our next move is going to be an alternating lateral lunge. So we're going to get a nice wide stance. And what we're going to do here is go from one side to the other. You should be keeping a nice straight back while you're doing these. So you're hinging at the hips and then obviously bending the knee. Your back should not be bent. When you're doing this, we're not going down like this. We're trying to stay nice and straight while we're doing these. And we're going to just try to go a little deeper each time. If you can't do these, that's fine. Just get like a wider stance squat, a little wider than shoulder width, till you can slowly get to doing these. There we go. Okay, our next move we're going to do is just a body weight RDL. So slight bend in the knees, and then we're hinging at the hips again, coming down, keeping a nice straight back, coming back up. There we go. So coming over, feel it in the back of the hamstrings, come back up. Don't go so far down that you're bending, like anybody can bend like this, but we're not trying to loosen the lower back. We're loosening our hamstrings here. There we go. You kind of even lean a little bit further forward, you'll really feel it back there. If you want, you can put your arms out, make it a little tougher. There we go, that's seven. All right, next we're gonna go down to the ground. We're gonna do a downward dog with a calf stretch. So, you get on all fours, go up hands and feet, and then from here, we're gonna sink the uh, shoulders down, and then we're gonna alternate calf stretching. So, right leg for a few seconds, alternate to the left, and go back. You want, you can just sit there with both, and just really, you're not trying to do this, we're pushing back, dropping those shoulders. You'll feel it in your lats. Really stretch out. Good controlled breathing. There we go. Okay, so next we're going to go into a cobra pose. For me, we're going to lay onto the ground. And then we're just going to push all the way up. Like that. So, a couple seconds till we get started. There we go, there we go, so tr try to sink the hips, try to keep the hips onto the ground, really feel it in your abdomen, stretching out, if you want you can kind of turn side to side, if you can't do this, maybe what you have to do is just get down to your elbows and try to pick up, and then as you can, you can slowly push a little higher until you can lock the elbows. There we go, if you want, you can also do cobra push-ups, which is just like that. There we go, okay, time for a little cardio action. We're gonna do run in place. So we're gonna start off with a normal run in place, do high knees and then butt kickers. So we'll change every 10 seconds. There we go. So if obviously you can't run in place, then just kinda fast march it, and then you can high knee it later. So here we go, we're gonna go into high knees. Again, if you can't high knee normally, then just bring them up. Each time, like that. Butt kickers, get the heels to the butt if you can. Again, if you can't actually hop, that's fine, just go like that. All right, so next we're doing cheat burpees. So there's no jumping in this. We're just gonna do our squat, come down, quick push up, come back up, right here, repeat. Let's get ready. So we're just dropping into a squat, going down to a push-up, come back up, repeat. If you can't do push-ups, that's fine. What you could do is just kind of come down, sink your hips, and then pop back up, or even just come down and then do a push-up on your knees, come back up. There we go. Last one. There we go, feeling good already. All right, we got a faux jump rope next. So like we're jump roping, but we don't have no rope. You wanna use a jump rope? You can. Feel the blood flowing now. Here we go. There we go. You can do alternating feet, both feet. If you can't jump rope, then you can alternate calf raises. If that's too tough, then just do both calves at the same time.
Here we go. <sighs> Feeling good. All right, next, one of the favorite ones on the channel, Spider-Man crunches. Oh yes. So Spider-Man crunches, get up pretty much in a plank position from here, bring the knees up. So one knee at a time, alternate sides, bring in the knee to the elbow. Make sure that the hand is staying under the shoulder. You don't wanna be like this, trying to bring those up. That's like impossible anyways. Should feel a little stretch in the forearms here too. Good controlled movements. You can always drop down your knees and do this as well. There we go. Next one is gonna be the deep squat, the five second hold. So we're literally just gonna sit down into a squat, hold it for roughly five seconds, come back out of it. There we go. So sit in your squat, try to keep the back nice and straight if you can, and then come out. There we go. I like to push my elbows up against my knees. Really feel the groin stretch out. Go one more. Boom! Warm up is done. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel and go check out our free seven day programs we have available as well as our paid programs we have available. Woo! It's time to get to work now.